Hey guys, this is DJ. Hope you're having a relaxing weekend. As you can see here, I'm testing out the animation features of Quip Studio Paint since I already tried my hand doing some art in the software to create results. Basically what I'm doing here is a simple expression animation of Dee Dee, a main character from my short film The Grover Guys, which I highly recommend you check out. Just wait for the card to show up. Wait for it. Wait for- aha, there you go. So click on the card above to watch The Grover Guys when you're ready. But back to what I'm doing here in Quip Studio Paint, I drew my two main uh, drawings, my keyframes I should say, one at the beginning with DD's neutral expression, and one at the end where he's shocked. Probably he's screaming or gasping at something horrific, who knows. I made sure uh, onion skinning was enabled and fixed it up so that the transparency is just right and that it's not showing too many skins. I'll admit, I struggled for a very short amount of time trying to figure out how to use this interface, but with a tutorial on YouTube playing in the background, things got easy for me quite quickly on how to use a Quip Studio page for a, a simple animation like this. Blank cells were inserted in order for me to draw my in-betweens, and I also assigned drawn layers to specific cells. So you can see that I'm constantly scrubbing my animation timeline, keeping a sharp eye on the flow of DD going from position A to position B. It's the same as animating on paper, flipping through your stack of drawings. It's a, it's a very important thing to play back and analyze your frames to make sure everything's coordinated. I duplicated the drawing with Didi's soft face and altered that duplicate uh, just by yoring his bill a bit. Once I finish in between it, it's time to clean up. You may have noticed that I reduced the amount of frames this particular animation lasts for because I realized it did need to be 120 seconds long. And here's the finished pencil test. Feel free to leave a comment below this video if you have any questions, or if you'd like to see me color this animation or experiment doing something crazy with it in After Effects. Hope you enjoyed this chill video. Take care.